Hey everybody, back on the degree wheel here. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information. Um, so, best I can explain this from what I've learned from um, Brian Amos and um, a couple of guys in my local community here that um, do um, pro stock racing um, and a uh, couple of other people up and down the road. Uh, my neighbor restores old cars, so he's got a little bit of knowledge on this too. And then uh, can't leave out 10 man, uh, saw guy. Um, I've talked to him a few times. He's pretty helpful when he has times. He's got like 25,000 subscribers. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see these numbers. So, what I'm doing here, the exhaust is opening roughly 70 degrees. So I'll show you, I run the wheel around here. And I hope this is focused. I'm sorry if it's not, but I can explain it if you can't see it completely. So as soon as this is opening, the exhaust, which is about right there, I'm at my 70. So if I take that times two, that gives me 140. 140 minus 360s is 360 degrees of rotation. It's 220 degrees um, of exhaust duration. And I'm going over here to my transfers. I'm gonna try to adjust the zoom. So right here, as you can see, that's just barely, barely opening. Now I got one is higher than the other. And the reason for that, um, one's your fresh intake and one's the exhaust. So the um, back side of this is allowing some air to come in, which pushes forward and helps the exhaust to start moving forward if i'm not mistaken and if i'm giving you bad information i do apologize and uh please feel free to make me eat my hat but so anyway that number right there um i'm right on 60. so um 60 times 2 120 because it's a complete cycle going around to go from open to close if i come back over here on my 60 excuse me my 60 again here uh, roughly right there you yeah, know we're at 60 degrees so um it's 120 so i want to take my um from the time my exhaust opens to the time my Transfer is open is the critical blowdown phase where the exhaust is escaping, the charge that's fired is re being removed. And so if I take that um, 220 and I'm actually uh, the same numbers down here, I'm gonna explain this all together too. So let's do this first. Intake side coming from right when it opens and that's also at 60 so if I go all the way up and all the way down back at 60 now you can see here the top of this I'm gonna have to skirt the piston just a little bit there I want that to open all the way that's going to change that number just a tiny little bit. Um, tempted to do anything to it for one simple reason, though, which was what I was going to try to tell you. So my, my transfers are opening at 60 degrees. Right? We're at... Right there. So that's on the, um, coming off of top dead center. If 
I'm not mistaken. I think it was it back to 60? Where are we at? Yep. Wrong, wrong 60. So, um, yeah, going all the way around. But so this is opening, as you can see, we're at 60 degrees from top dead center. And as this is coming up, it's opening the other side is 60 degrees. So there's something called crosstalk, which is, you know, when you have miscommunication going on with the, the openings in your system. And I don't fully understand it. I know it's a bad thing in most cases. Um, so I'm thinking if those are opening on the exact opposites with just a single base gasket in here on those numbers, um, that's probably where I'm going to leave that. Um, and maybe somebody will chime in and tell me, go ahead. But um, yeah, that's looking pretty good. About a, maybe maybe a millimeter I could take off of that and finish opening it up. But um, as you can see, also, I am nowhere near my squish. Nope. I'm gonna try to back out, but no. Yeah, I got the got the veneer here. Get my caliper open real quick. And turn this on. Get it zeroed. Alright. So millimeters. I have 154, maybe even more, because as you can see right here, that's off the edge of that, and it's if I was to hold it this way, which I really can't, but somewhere, yeah, it may even be as much as two millimeters. I'm saying safely at least a millimeter that I can deck this. Um, I usually don't use a head gasket. I may use one with this motor. Um, if that's the case, I would take even more off, maybe a millimeter and a half. Um, so I got three right here on my top deck. Um, I'm gonna have to wait and see what, I got a head coming for this. So I'll wait and see what it looks like as far as the um, band on it. But um, back to this information over here, if I can explain anything and help anyone a little clearer. Um, so we went over the transfer duration, I believe, or was that what I needed to do? No. So yeah, from the top dead center, which was around 70, we got our times two to 140. And then our blow down, that was opening at um, 60. So that gives you 120. So you can see here too, there's 140 on the exhaust and 120 on the intake that's a good thing you want a little bit more going out than coming in because otherwise you're going to have some crosstalk in a sense that this is going to start blowing back there'll be too much air and fuel coming in and it's just going to foul up your if you do run a filter or it's just going to cause poor performance in your carburetor so again where we're at here 140 from 120 um, that's, um, 20 degrees of, um, blow down, if I'm not mistaken. So, I may have done the math right here. Yeah, 360, 80, 200. Yeah, I'm at 200, some, oh, this is what I was going to do. I want to bring this to 
I want to open this exhaust a little more and I'll raise that. So I'm at 70 now. If I move this up 10 degrees, draw a line in here, just so you can see roughly what it is. It's not a whole lot, but you can open that up that much. I got to obviously do some work. Bear with me, I kind of hurt my arm at one of my jobs. Do some work on the uh, exhaust port. That's got to be um, reamed out. And when I got this... Um, I was a little upset. I said, geez, man, what a poor casting. But looking at it now, it's not um, just an overshadow where they just threw the thing off quick. It's actually more material back there. So this is uh, one of the nicer um, pieces that I've seen. I've got a couple of different people that I order these through, and most of them are really clean. But this thing's got some extra beef to it. Um, as far as, if I can get in here, you can see behind here that there's plenty of room to move material um, up or down without coming through the sidewall or damaging anything in the future from heat. So anyway, kind of a longer video than I'm used to doing, but um, I don't know. I hope that helps somebody out there and... Um, any feedback on my numbers or any suggestions, feel free. Godspeed, um, everyone, and have a very nice day. And uh, look forward to seeing you all soon.